Hello, this is Hardware Thrift, and welcome to my lesson 5 of my LabVIEW introductory course. Apologize for it having been a while, I've been moving, so I've just been trying to get everything put back together before I started up the lessons again. This week it's going to be a pretty short lesson, but it's something I didn't touch on before and you might not have caught on to. Today I'm going to be going over how to identify your different data types. Uh, LabVIEW does this pretty visually since it is a visual learning or visual programming. Uh, so a lot of the lines can be used to identify what data type you're looking at. So we're just going to hop into it right away. Uh, so looking at our numerics that we've seen before, we have our numeric and numeric indicator over in our block diagram. And the block diagram is where you're going to really see these color codings for your different data types come into play. So if I connect my numeric to my numeric indicator, so connect a string to that, you'll see that we have a solid orange strand. It's pretty thin, probably like a pixel by a pixel or a little more. And also that numeric and numeric indicator will show that it is also orange around it. And that shows a DBL number. Next one we're gonna look at over here are booleans. You can see that's our true or false numbers. That one, if you connect it together, you're going to have a dotted green line. And that's how one way you'll be able to identify if it's a true or false statement or a boolean. Next are strings. Our strings can be identified by a pink like dash ziggy line. And you can see that here as I put that line there. So pretty identifiable. Next one, we're going to be hooking up this constant to the numeric. And what that constant is, it's in blue because it's a slightly different numbering type. All those blue outline numbers like that, they are whole numbers. So they're 0, 1, 2, 3. You're not going to get a decimal point. So that can still get hooked up to a DBL numeric like this one, but you won't be seeing those decimal points. So that's what those solid blue lines are. The next one is something we haven't looked at before. They're arrays and array indicators. We will be getting there sometime in these lessons but as of right now you can see it's got that same orange line as your numeric but with an array you have a thicker line and that'll come into play later you'll see why it's kind of a visual indicator that you're looking at array over just your single numbers coming through the last one and something else will hit later on in the series are known as clusters they can be very useful at times for different parts of the programming. And when you connect it together, you'll see you have that brown, like ladder dashed line there. Uh, there's a lot, there's a couple different other colors and line variants for all of these. But if you can start looking at the colors and the different lines, you can tell how, what kind of data is being moved through that line without even having to look at how the program works or what's going on. It makes it really quick for identifying how the program works and you'll probably find it very useful as you go on working with LabVIEW. Other than that, uh, hopefully the next video will be out soon. I'm planning on doing it on loops, and while loops, and for loops, just to get you guys comfortable with those. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video, and I will see you next time.